Hello everyone. In this video, I'll walk you through process of SD Excel Dream Boot training on Google Colab's free tier using your own images. For this tutorial, I have used an image of Lionel Messi and successfully trained the model to produce various different images. Before I begin, I would like to mention that this video was inspired by a post from Avishek Thakur on X. And let's get started. The first thing we're gonna need is Hugging Face account. If you don't have one, just go ahead and make it free. Once you create an account, just log in, go to settings. You need to have a token with right access. So click on click on this. Under settings, you will find access token, a new token. Change this to right and give some name, demo and generate token. So I have uh, created a token over here. You can click on this and just copy this uh, token from here. Let's have a look at the details about uh, collab file. So we have a important setup about uh, auto train dim booth. So this will just install all the latest file. That's all. And second part is about uh, setting up the configuration. So here you can give the project name, uh, which is by default my dream booth project. Then you will provide a prompt here. So I'm going with a photo of a SKS Leo Andres Messi. Okay. Apart from that, I want to push it to hub hugging face because I want to keep my model safe over there. So we'll be using that. Then we have hugging face token over here. Uh, don't worry if you are able to see anyway, I will delete this token apart from that uh, we have repo ID uh, and repo ID you will provide your name from over here username and then you can provide any name after that uh, that will work by default uh, There are some hyper parameters. Uh, you can leave this uh, as it is or uh, this works really well So, so on the left side uh, you have to first right click create new folder and name this images and under this image folder you have to upload all your training images so let me show you my training images so i'm going with these images you don't have to have a lot of images five six is more than enough to train the model and it can be of any dimension only thing you need to take care is choose a image which is clear and crisp and there are not a lot of noise once this is done you can just go ahead and click on first second and third so after we run this block you would see that you know it has installed lattice transformer and all the dependencies along with the diffuser uh, from the main branch apart from that uh, we have run this setup uh, configuration and then uh, you can see here uh, it is taking time obviously it is uh, 500 steps are there and it is currently on 119 which is uh, approx 24 percent so it takes around uh, an hour or so uh, to train the entire model so we are on 94 percent now hopefully it will be done soon uh, we can see here uh, it is 100 percent done so there was no error while training this model so let's see here so as i said earlier right uh, we will have the output over here and the name is pytorch lora weight safe tensor and the same will be uploaded to hugging face because that's what i have given so let's go ahead and see that and yes so we have over here uh, you can see asuto srivastava sdxl db lionel messi so we have the model over here and details of those models will be over here so in this readme we can find uh, instance prompt photo of asks leo andres messi and then there are some tags and so on so next we are going to create image and then you will find the project path uh, so we are not referring uh, the model which is in hugging face we are directly reading it from over here so that's fine and remember uh, if you're not pushing it to hugging face make sure to download this because if this get disconnected your uh, file will get deleted so you can just go ahead and uh, download it over from here so let's go to file and download okay so you can do that next uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are providing the prompt here so my prompt is uh, for portrait photo of a sks leo andres messi which is an instance prompt here uh, in black suit 4k 35 mm lens and uh, here i have used a seed uh, and there are range and then uh, we are going to see uh, it should create five images for us uh, with the seed uh, 0 to 4 so let me do one thing i will just rename this folder now because otherwise it will create a problem okay because we already have the images with the name uh, 1 2 even though the extension is different but let's go ahead and create another folder over here so new file sorry not new file we should be creating a new folder so new folder and we can give this as images images 
that's fine so we have the uh, folder now so let's go ahead and run this this will take some time and you will find one thing that you know uh, the system ram and gpu uh, ram will go really high and at some point of time it crashed so at this time you have to just go ahead and uh, restart this again uh, only the last uh, code cell and it will start working so we have successfully ran this and uh, images has been generated under image folder so we have total uh, five images so i've opened it over here let's go ahead and check uh, one by one so this is what it has generated uh, looks great you know uh, let's go ahead and check the second one okay this one is really awesome it has uh, it we can clearly identify that you know uh, it is messy image uh, in black suit that's great even this one is nice uh, really great okay this one uh, has been deviated from the prompt uh, we specifically asked for a suit but it has given in uh, football jersey that's fine so i've just created some sample prompts uh, in chat gpt here uh, i've given the instruction that you know i need a prompt like this and what is this information about and so on and it has created some prompts so let's take one of uh, them and go to our collab and change the prompt over here so let's go ahead and before we start i just want to see what is the status uh, it might crash uh, so let's go ahead and run this once and let's see if it works or not and remember to take out your outputs otherwise it will overwrite so you could see here right uh, we got this message uh, your session restarted after crash so what we have to do is uh, we have to just go ahead and run this cell uh, we don't have to do much uh, it will take few uh, minutes and our images will be ready so let's go ahead and check out the output so this is our first image uh, as i said right uh, we have given uh, neon lit cyberpunk cityscape and with uh, holographic advertisements right so we have all those details and we can see uh, you know the face is exactly same what we have trained let's have a look at the second one this is amazing i really like this one so i'll surely go ahead and save this file first i have run another prompt uh, which was about synthweb sunset background so you could see here uh, we have that kind of image uh, and we have this pinkish uh, color as well synthwave color so it works really well uh, with you know uh, whatever images we have trained so there is another way you can generate image in uh, sdxl that is refiner using refiner uh, but i'm not able to show you here because uh, we have this ram issue uh, it is uh, breaking and crashing every time so this is the code uh, which has to be used if you are using refiner you will be using uh, image to image pipeline and then you will be using a uh, refiner model over here and then you will just uh, generate the image and save it and here you will get little refine image it will be much better output compared to your uh, normal output okay if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button share with your friends before i end this video i would love to have you all join me on twitter there i share fascinating ai art prompt and ai related post see you all there the tutor link is in the pinned comment thank you